Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've been doing well. Sorry I haven't posted a video in a while. I have just been super busy and I was doing a bit of traveling this month. So I am back now and I thought I would go ahead and show you guys a few new items I picked up. I wouldn't really consider this a haul since I only picked up three items, but there are items I thought I would just go ahead and show you guys. So without further ado, let's get started. The first one, as you can probably tell from the photo, is the Marc Jacobs Traveler tote bag, and this is in the large size. I do already have the leather version in the mini size in the color pink, which I've done a few videos on, and I will link to those if you are interested in watching. I do really like this. It's big and sturdy, and for the longest time, I just held out on getting this bag because I didn't really think I needed it, especially since I have the pink one in a smaller size. But I do sort of realize that the size is really, really useful, and especially with this canvas, it just it would just be such a good workhorse, especially for traveling. And I do have a lot of trips coming up this year, and I was just thinking this would be very, very comfortable to carry on an airplane. You know, as much as I love the Chloe Woody tote, I've pretty much been using that constantly, kind of become my new go-to work bag. That bag size is perfect, and I will definitely do a comparison on those two, on this bag and the Chloe Woody tote later, but it is just, um, it's a good work bag for me, and for traveling, I definitely need to carry a little bit more, so I was thinking this would be a really, really good option. Um, I did get this off of Essence. They were doing a 15% off sale earlier this month. I think it was sometime in mid-March. And also I'm just a sucker for the color blue in general and I really really like this particular shade of blue so I thought I would go ahead and pick that up with the 15% off and I'm really really glad I did. I haven't used it yet so the tags are still on here but I'm certainly going to keep this and I'm just really excited to use this as a really easy grab and go tote for either weekend trips or airplane rides that sort of thing. So we'll see how it goes and stay tuned for comparison videos with this coming up later. Moving on to my two boxes right here, so I will save this for last. And here is a Matches Fashion box. I just love the packaging that Matches Fashions does. I think the way they wrap up their items is just handled with such care, and it is really a pleasure to unbox their stuff. So I've already opened the item in this box, and just for the purposes of the video, I did kind of put it back in there so you can kind of see how it's packaged. And I did use this item already on my trip to Las Vegas recently, so this is not a true unboxing by any means, but I wanted to just show you guys what it looks like. So here is their beautiful box, and then you just open it here and then you can see the tissue paper I did rip off the sticker but that is where it would be taped together and it is a Celine accessory as you can see and with the way they just pack it all the extra tissue paper here and here it just really makes you feel like they they put a lot of care into packaging this item here's the Celine box to reveal a pair of sunglasses. So here's all the extra packaging. It was wrapped up very well, but I did wear these already. And here is the Celine logo on the sunglass case. And it's a pretty nice flat case. Um, it can fit very easily in two smaller bags because the case isn't too bulky. I definitely have some sunglasses cases that are just gigantic and take up so much space, which I do think is nice because you do want to keep them protected. But there are also instances where it's just really easy and helpful to have something that's much more flat and can fit into bags easier. And I don't know the exact name of the sunglasses, uh, so if I so if it's listed on my emailed receipt, I will go ahead and pop that in the description box for you, just so you guys know the style number. And here they are. I know these are kind of an older style, but I've always just really loved this particular design where it's kind of half and half. So the top part is just black, and then the bottom part is this tortoiseshell on both sides, and you can kind of just see where it starts right on the halfway point here, and here, and here and here and Matches Fashion did send me a birthday promo so my birthday was in March and it was $150 off so I was able to use that on these sunglasses which was definitely a welcome promo to use for these and here is the back of them they're a little bit smudged because I did just use these on a trip they don't say Celine on the sides but they do say it on the inside right here so hopefully you guys can see that and it just says Celine Paris made in Italy and yeah, really, really like these sunglasses. Definitely excited to use these as the days are getting longer and there's more sunlight now. Okay, and finally we have a little orange box. You know what this means. It is something from Hermes. I did not use any promos or get this on sale or anything like that. I just picked this up in Vegas at the store at the Bellagio. Um, it is something that I have sort of been wanting for a while. Someone had asked me a while ago if I was ever going to do a wishlist video and 
I've sort of gone back and forth on that for a little bit. I kind of see both sides of it, right? There are times when I think it's really helpful to have a list because it kind of gives you goals to save for and kind of keeps your eyes on the prize. And then I also hear the arguments that kind of go against the wish list where it's sort of just like a really expensive shopping list, puts you in the mindset of having to buy, buy, buy constantly. So I definitely understand both sides of the argument. I think for me personally, the reason why I haven't sat down and done a dedicated wish list video yet is because I do find often that the things I want change quite constantly. For example, even this tote bag wasn't really high on my wish list until pretty recently is when I started thinking about it a lot more. So obviously there are some items on my quote unquote wish list that have been on there forever and I'm just kind of waiting for the perfect time or waiting for the item I really, really want to become available. But then there are a lot of times where I just make, I wouldn't say they're quite impulse shopping decisions, but I do really try to think uh, very carefully about what I am going to buy and how I'm going to use it before I pull the trigger. Obviously, that's not always true. There have definitely been times where I just saw something that I absolutely loved and purchased it. So sorry for the little side note here before we get into this unboxing, but I guess just to sum up, I'm kind of all over the place with my shopping and it's possible I will go ahead and do a wishlist video someday, but for now I just haven't really been organized enough to kind of do it and especially just because with the way that my shopping habits are, I tend not to quite follow that list all the time. So yeah, we'll see what happens in the future, but just wanted to give you guys a heads up about that and sorry for the rambling, but let's go into this little unboxing right here and again, this is something that if I had a wishlist, it would have been on. I had sort of been on the hunt for it especially when I was in Hawaii last year but I couldn't find it anywhere and this will be a true unboxing because I haven't opened this item since I purchased it so let's go ahead and open the ribbon there's the box there's the tissue to reveal this little change tray now this is the most buttery soft leather. I adore this. And so you can see it's brown on this side and maroon on this side. And it does say Hermes Paris made in France up here and very, very small embossing. And it does have the H right here. And what you do is you just snap this up like this. and it becomes a little tray where you can put your change. I actually wanted to get this because I thought it would be perfect for traveling. Um, when I travel, I don't wanna carry all the boxes for jewelry and stuff, and so I found that this is really nice to kind of keep by your hotel bedside table, and you can put all your jewelry in there, and it's, it's before you go to sleep, and then it's right there when you wake up. I've been really wanting this for a long time. Um, I do have a, something similar, but it's not designer branded at all, and it's kind of falling apart a little bit, so I thought this leather version would be really, really nice, and it's just so, so soft, you guys, um, and just really love the way that it folds flat like this for traveling, so this really doesn't take up any space at all. So let me just quickly show you guys what it looks like with some of my jewelry in it. So I, right now I'm just wearing my everyday jewelry, and um, so here is that and let's I'm going to take off my ring and taking off my Justin Clue and then also taking off my brand new VCA bracelet. I will probably get this resized so I'll do an update on that. Um, it does fall pretty low right here but I also want to consider the fact that I have the Just On Clue and I don't want them to get too, too tangled up. So I do need to take this in to get resized. I don't know how long it's going to take. Hopefully it doesn't take that long, but I really do love this bracelet and I'm really, really happy that I got it. So I'm just going to take this off. Sorry, I'm rambling and it is taking me a while to do this. Okay, so here we go. And just gonna have to angle it up so you guys can get the best view but this is sort of what it looks like um, obviously not because it's not flat I'll try to insert some photos so you guys can see but everything fits really well and I just think it's gonna be a really nice way to keep my jewelry nice and organized and all in one place so I don't lose anything so there is the change tray I think this is either called a change tray or a valet tray I'll look at the receipt and let you guys know um, I also don't remember the exact cost off the top of my head right now and but I will put all that stuff in the description box I think it was 450 before tax or after tax something like that so that's it just three new items to share with you guys really quickly thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you found it helpful if you have any questions about anything let me know and I will do my best to answer if you could please subscribe to this channel and also give this video a thumbs up I would really really appreciate it I hope you 
guys all have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye!